My name is Chris, and this is my aha moment. My aha moment was about 11 years ago when my late husband Dan came home from work and said I ordered 1,500 grapevines today. We had discussed um, some ideas of using a piece of ground that was not fertile. Um, so while it wasn't a total surprise, it was kind of a shock to hear that, oh my, we are going on with it. We planted the vineyard and then we started looking at what are we going to do with these grapes when they, once they begin producing in five years. We decided to purchase an old historic building in our small downtown where Dan and I both grew up and it was our town's harness shop. So we created the winery there. We also ultimately purchased our what used to be our town's bank and created a restaurant and then um, have continued to grow the business. And when Dan died six months ago, I made the decision after some soul searching to continue with the business and um, to leave a legacy for our children. Something that my husband used to say all the time when we would be in the midst of, of preparing for an event or in, in the midst of working really hard, he would look at me and say, are we having fun yet? And that used to infuriate me because I, when we were working hard and I would say, what do you mean are we having fun yet? And now I can't tell you how many times I think in the midst of something when I'm in a crisis and I'm not sure what to do that I will think of him telling me, are we having fun yet? And that keeps me that keeps me going. So I encourage other people to have fun and when life gets tough to look at somebody and say, are we having fun yet?